<clears throat> okay. Ready or not, here I come. Love. I've thought of you for two days in a row now. All day and night. I feel like I'm in a love song. Man, I know you think I'm playing. Play Just listen what I'm saying. Play Ring around the rosy, you the only one that know me. Because yeah. I think maybe I did fall in love with you. Now don't go running for the hills or anything. I'm just saying maybe I did. Oh damn, okay. <laughs> That's me, your boy, Eric Galindo, last summer when I did one of the hardest things I've had to do. I confessed my feelings to someone in a voice memo and I sent it to her. The one thing I keep going back to is I never want to do anything ever that would hurt you. In fact, I keep having this urge to go to Highland Park and give you a fucking hug. I see you playing games, I can read you like a Kindle. I ain't losing no sleep, giving brain to my pillow. You insane, I'm for real though. <laughs> for real though! I wasn't always open to this kind of love. What do you mean? Like... Like it's just there, you know? Like it's... Like you don't gotta work for it? No, no. I don't know. I don't know if I think about that, but I just feel like I'm filled with love, you know? I didn't always feel that way. There are times when I felt very unlovable. Um, we're taught to hate each to hate one, one another. Like, I grew up in a place where we didn't really value human life, you know? So you wonder, like, who the fuck are you to expect love? From the team that brought you Apple Podcasts and Spotify's best episode of the year, Wilds, How Do I Love Someone? You heard Megan Tan's pandemic love story. And a little bit of mine. I, I had a Match.com profile once. Did you? I made it in the middle of a fight with the ex. Oh. <laughs> just like went to sleep in the other room and created a Match.com profile. <laughs> Eric. Like, fuck her. <laughs> God. But I never used it. It was just, I created it and I never used it. This season, we're doing it all over again. But this time, I'm telling Megan my wild love story. The type of story that feels like a movie, but it was my life. What, what happened? The woman I was dating, off and on again for a minute, comes to me and says she wants to move to Milwaukee. And she wants me to come with her. I'm talking about an adventure across America. I'm talking me and the woman I love, and for some reason, her mom and her best friend. (laughs) (laughs) On the road for a month. And then on the first day of the trip, she breaks up with me. What? She broke up with you on the first day of the trip? This is my Southeast LA rom-com. I was steeped in love and in one of the most confusing relationships of my life. The kind that fucks you up. The kind that forces you to confront parts of yourself in a way you never have before. Like, I'm terrified, like, of that kind of love, you know. Why, wait, why is it terrifying? (sighs) That's this season on Wild, I Think I'm Falling in Love. Coming from LAS Studios this April.